Hello everybody, this is Chillbilly, and today I'm bringing you Farming Simulator 15. Uh, a lot of you have uh, had questions about running servers uh, by yourself uh, for, for just a couple of people or, or, you know, just whatever, and you didn't want a dedicated server and you weren't sure what peer-to-peer -peer meant. Uh, okay, so peer-to-peer uh, -peer is basically you're setting up the connection for yourself. Uh, and, and what they're going to do is they're going to come in and they're going to connect to you. Uh, so that's what that is. So um, anyway, uh, how you set one up is you go to multiplayer, you go to create game, uh, you find the save game that you have. Now you can open up any of your single player games here. And also if you want to get creative with it, if your friend has a farm or something like that, he can send you the save game file. You can move it over into your... Uh, uh, folder which I'm not going to show you how to do that but if you if you you know you just put it into the directory and then you can open that save game from there and run it off of his farm as well if you have the faster connection or what have you all right so we're just going to use save game one there we're going to hit start and choose our difficulty uh normal is just about uh about what everybody does and then uh you can do your map okay so you can do Westbridge Hills or you can do Jornhelm or whatever it's called doing West Bridge Hills and uh, here's the setup thing uh, so I've got Alan Camel's game up there uh, you enter any kind of password uh, into it so uh, Google all right uh, you need to put up your connection there so you need to change it to whatever it is uh, and then uh, you can use a port now if you have a firewall or whatever or, or what have you uh, you're going to need to open a port for those players to come and connect to you and you're, you're gonna have connection issues if you use a standard port and you have a firewall and you know all this other stuff so you need to open up TCP IP port or uh, you know for for that uh, particular thing so so you're just gonna open one of those ports and I think it's TCP and UDP uh, that you have to open for those I'm, I, I'm not sure on the ports I'm not really uh, a network administrator or anything um, now the max players you can set that uh, I, I guess as high as your bandwidth will allow at 16 um, that's uh, about as many as uh, a dedicated server will hold or you can do it all the way down to three and four um, I would put a password on it because if you leave it running people will jump on your game and like mess with you uh, I'm not sure what UPnP is but uh, I'm, I'm imagining that's uh, no, nah, I don't even know what that is. Uh, I auto accept that uh, keeps people when people join the game. It doesn't ask you to accept them into the game. Uh, it just automatic. They can automatically join. It'll say initialize it with players or whatever at the bottom. Uh, and then auto save if you uh, kind of want to run kind of a dedicated server, but you know you want to leave the game running. You can hit auto save, and uh, that'll save it every so often. Uh, but also, uh, you don't have to go and save it every time that you want to get to a stop point. It'll do it automatically. Uh, so you can do that. Also, a uh, cool feature is you can do the add mods. Uh, and then add the mods to the server that you're running on your own computer here. So uh, you just, you know, kind of add add the mods on there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're good to go on that uh, respect. And uh, anyway, uh, as long as you get that port set up. And you have a good connection to the internet once you hit start you're going to start that game now i'm not going to start it down here because my connection sucks so um uh, anyway just uh you know just kind of play around with the port settings uh, and, and just remember this the tcp and the udp port setting uh you need to set that up correctly in order for that to work so just kind of be careful with it uh, Google it, how to set up a TCP UDP port, um, and make sure that it matches that. And then you should be good to go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever the hell, just put it down in the comment section below. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.